One of the greatest fears that many of my seniors tell me is that they are not sure if they will still be here tomorrow. And what if one day I die and nobody know, then how? One of the residents who we work with, his name is Uncle Stanley, and we realised that his uh, you know, physique and his body, his stomach was getting more and more distended. And thankfully, he was open and receptive to advice. He went for medical appointments, he had surgery, etc. Well, there was once when Uncle Stanley asked us for a little help. It was his late wife's death anniversary. And at that point, um, you know, his health was weak, he was rather frail. Uh, so we had four volunteers. Uh, two of them went uh, with yellow flowers and their smartphone to pay their respects. And another two were in his house. And so they FaceTimed each other. And so he could see, you know, the flowers being laid down and the offerings being made. And he told my volunteers, he said, tell her I love her. This was such an intimate, personal moment and he was willing to share it with us. And that was something that really, really touched me. You know, I think a lot of people were thinking, oh, but you know, someone else can do it, right? Why doesn't he have kids? But the fact is that there are many elderly who are living in isolation and that's something that I care very deeply about. I think I've always been very conscious that this is bigger than me, this is beyond me. At the end of the day, our seniors really just want to be seen. And can we actually all be part to say, we are looking after each other here in this community. I think if we can build together, it's something that I would be proudest of. I'm Nadia Ahmad Samdin, your MP for Cheng San Salita.